Good, uh, what time is it? Probably lunchtime. Hope you guys are having a great uh, Friday so far. Um, we actually got some sun, which is great. Uh, Emily and I just got done uh, working out. You can see I've got my scrubby old sweaty or smelly old uh, tank top still on from working out. Um, guys, I just want to get on here real quick. And there's a lot of chatter out there in the last few weeks I've been reading on social media. And not only that, but through other people I talk to either at church or, or at Bible study or wherever I'm in a group that a lot of the people, uh, a lot of the kids or their parents are having issues with uh, falling and breaking bones. And guys, for a senior, um, it seems to be that people are taking that as being a norm when actually it can be reversed. And the seniors do not have to be that fragile. Now, you go to these um, senior centers and you know Emily, uh, Emily's 68 she'll be 69 I'm gonna be 71 in the next few days and there are a lot of seniors in there that are a lot younger than us that are very fragile and that are on walkers and the reasoning for that there's a very simple reasoning for it guys and you don't have to be that way or if you have parents that are fragile and that are um, having issues with falling, or if you're worried about them falling and breaking bones, they do not have to be that way at all. And the root cause to why they're uh, falling and why they're breaking bones is because of their lifestyle. As a senior, it's natural for seniors to actually start losing uh, muscle mass. And by losing the muscle mass, you're going to get weaker and also, it's normal for seniors to actually start to uh, lose their bone density uh, also, which is going to cause them to be brittle. But the problem is, is because seniors, for one thing, number one thing, biggest thing for seniors, and, and science has been telling this for years, is that seniors, for some reason, at a certain age, do not hydrate efficiently. They're not drinking enough water. They, for some reason, stop drinking water. Now, some seniors are saying that um, they don't like the taste of, of, of the water. And I understand that because most of the water today that the public is drinking is so toxic that uh, it doesn't taste good. Or if you're drinking out of a bottle of water, that does not taste good. I mean, I've tasted so many different uh, water sources from homes that when they drink them out of the faucet or out of the sink, to me, it tastes like either uh, a piece uh, or pi old pipe or it tastes like chlor chlorine. So I understand that. Well, for the last 15 plus years, and not just me, but th hundreds and thousands of people all over the world, uh, we have discovered a very healthy water, which has a refreshing taste to it and which is contaminant free and is actually known as therapeutic to the body, which is known as hydrogen rich water. So the first thing that these seniors are doing, causing their uh, muscle mass to deteriorate and to and their bone density to deteriorate, is they're not hydrating with enough water. Even seniors need to be drinking a minimum of 64 ounces of water up to 100 ounces per day. Coffee doesn't count. Those sugary drinks, you got to stop drinking those seniors. They're affecting you health-wise. Those don't drink. Uh, tea does not drink. You got to really drink water. The next biggest thing that seniors are doing as they age, it's just as normal, is the lack of the amount of good source of protein they're putting in their bodies. Now, you guys have heard me warn you about the local stores, the regular stores like Ralph's and Stater Brothers and all these local stores. The type of meat they're selling, the type of fish they're selling, the type of chicken and bacon they're selling, it's all contaminated with some massive amounts of hormones and antibiotics. And even if they say antibiotic free, do you really know that they are? No, you don't. And so we uh, like to reinforce people, especially those of, that are on our online coaching program to go to these health food stores and get pasture raised grass finished uh, beef, uh, pasture raised chicken, not cage free pasture raised chicken, only eat pasture raised um, eggs, and then of course buy the actual wild caught 
fish. Now, if you buy the fish that's flash frozen, it's wild caught, that's pretty much pretty solid, healthy fish. But the problem with the seniors out there is they're, uh, they're not eating enough protein for one reason or another. I've heard many seniors say, well, my doctor says that I can't, I shouldn't eat that much protein because it's going to affect my kidneys. Guys, that's not true. That's wrong. Anyway, you're a senior. You couldn't possibly eat enough protein per day to do any kind of damage to your kidneys if you have a healthy kidney. Now, if you're having kidney issues, then you need to start with a moderate amount of, of protein until you reverse that issue with the kidney. Find out what the root cause is causing the kidney to be uh, to malfunction or for the numbers to drop. But the problem is seniors just are not eating enough protein. Protein is your muscle building meal. If you don't eat protein, the efficient amount of protein for your body, you are going to lose muscle mass. And that's the biggest issue for seniors is they start to lose muscle mass and that's why they end up falling. And then besides their muscle mass, their bone density is really low and they're breaking bones. Now, the good news is this is the solution and it's nothing new. This is not new news, guys. This is old news. It's simple. Increase your hydration, but you must be drinking healthy, hydrogen rich water that has the most powerful antioxidant on the planet in each glass you drink but not all hydrogen rich water that comes that comes out of these devices that actually produce the hydrogen but you have to understand you have to have the device that's got a proven internal filter system that takes out the toxic the most dangerous toxic chemicals on the planet if your device does not have that new internal filter system, then you may want to look at one that does. And you can go to my team, alcaviva.com forward slash drink nature's water forward slash and check the uh, internal filters that is certified by a third party uh, lab showing they do take out the most dangerous uh, toxic chemicals. Uh, Nine point or nine nine uh, uh, actually takes out almost nine nine point nine percent of all the toxic chemicals. You also, besides hydrating, which is super important for you se seniors out there, you're going to feel more energy. You're going to have a lot more energy if you start hydrating yourself with the right water. It's amazing how the body reacts to good, healthy water, and you're drinking enough. Next thing is you've got to increase your protein, but it's got to be a good source of protein. You still do not want to be consuming uh, meats and fish and chicken and eggs that's full of antibiotics and toxic chemicals. The, that's what's going on today. There's so much uh, environmental toxins going on. Our country is one of the sickest countries in the world, and it's very simple. You can do, you just have to change your lifestyle. And, and seniors out there, if you just feel like maybe you're just too old, that's wrong. There's been tests out there where actually went to a senior center and they tested seniors that were in their mid 80s up to their mid 90s, put them on a healthy lifestyle and doing resistance training. That is the third thing you have to do. Seniors, you've got to get off that couch, got to get off that walker. You got to go either into a gym and get a qualified trainer and you need to start doing some resistant strength training, not cardio. Get off, stay off the cardio. No cardio at all. You need to do resistant strength training in order to build the muscle and add the muscle. Like I said, if you go to my BillMaryCoaching.com website, check out Emily and I. We are old, but we're still able to add lean muscle, which means that we're also strengthening our bone density at the same time, and we're at a later age. So there is no age limit. So don't think there is, and don't let anybody tell you they're, you're just too old. But you need the guidance. You need to have a plan. You need to have a proven program that actually fits your lifestyle, and that's where a coach like myself comes in. All you got to do, guys, those of you that are really interested in changing your lifestyle, is go to BillBabyCoaching.com, 
Click on free consultation. Doesn't cost you a dime, no pressure. Let's just go over what you want, want to do and we can customize the plan that best works for you. But you have to be willing to put in the work in order to improve your lifestyle with whatever life you have left. Hope you guys got some good information out there. Pass this on to your senior parents. Guys, have a great day.